So, the next part of the discussion here is the modern periodic table. This modern periodic table was actually proposed by Mosley. According to Mosley, he says all the physical and chemical properties, physical and chemical properties, properties of elements. are the periodic functions periodic functions periodic functions of their atomic numbers when you go for atomic numbers atomic number is given by the symbol z here z as an atomic number atomic number represents the number of protons number of protons present in the nucleus nucleus of atom number of protons present in the nucleus of atom and also it is going to give the total number of electrons total number of electrons present present in neutral atom present in neutral atom this is the significance of atomic number apart from this this modern periodic table was also extended the discussion was extended by Niels Bauer and uh, according to Niels Bauer he said that all the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions the periodic functions the periodic function of elements is taken as electronic configuration is taken as electronic configuration by Niels Bohr. The main advantage of the modern periodic table is to eliminate to eliminate the problem of inversion pairs. inversion pairs of elements in periodic table in periodic table so the next part of the discussion in the periodic table chapter is that is the topic is position of elements in the modern periodic table when you speak about the position of the elements in the a modern periodic table the position of an element positions position of elements in the periodic table is governed by the the position of elements in the periodic table is governed by the blocks of the periodic table where the periodic table is actually having four blocks s block p block b block and f block and uh, here when you take the position of the elements like for example, uh, the elements, when we speak about positions, the, the modern periodic table is made up of groups. We have groups, these groups are called vertical columns. Vertical columns. And we have periods, horizontal. We have horizontal rows. Actually, there are 18 vertical columns called groups and 7 horizontal rows called periods. So, here if you take, if you are going to take, particularly if you take a period, when you say 7 periods, let us continue our discussion. If you take 7 periods, the first period, first period is the shortest period, shortest, first period is the shortest and it contains only 2 elements. It contains only two elements that is hydrogen and helium. If you go for the second period, second period it is short and it contains eight elements. Eight elements, starting element is lithium and it starts with lithium and ends with the 
neon third period third period again it is short it contains eight elements starts with the sodium and it ends with argon fourth period fourth period is the long period with 18 elements 18 elements it starts with the lithium sodium potassium it starts with potassium and ends with krypton ends with krypton fifth period is a long period and it starts with element rubidium it starts with rubidium and in it, and it ends with the that is xenon and the sixth period is the longest period sixth period is the longest period it starts with the that is lithium sodium lithium sodium potassium rubidium next it comes cesium cesium okay that is neon neon argon krypton xenon and radon radon so here if you take this is the sixth period longest period and here it contains it contains 32 elements altogether 32 elements and here 18 elements it has 18 elements and the last one 17th uh, i mean seventh period if you take it is the incomplete incomplete period and it starts with the francium and uh, it is an incomplete period that's why the ending element we need not mention here it is an incomplete number of elements incomplete elements incomplete elements in fact in fact in today's latest uh, updated updated periodic table contains almost uh, 115 elements which we have to keep it in mind 115 plus you add to total it is going to become 117 elements are known to us as of today according to the latest uh, international union of pure and applied chemistry standards 117 elements are updated in the latest design of the periodic table which we have to keep it in mind so if you go to the next point of the discussion so far we have discussed about the alignment of elements across a period in the in the modern periodic table when you speak about the groups and uh, periods always we say vertical columns or groups and uh, horizontal rows are called periods but whenever you say periods we say across a period and whenever you say group we say down a group so till now what are the discussion we made we made the elements arrangement in the modern periodic table based on the periods that is across means horizontal that is from left to right down the group means from top to bottom so now let us extend our discussion of the elements with respect to groups so if you go for groups if you go for groups as already i told you if you go for groups as already i told you that is groups are vertical columns groups are vertical columns and uh, we always say from top to bottom top to bottom top to bottom these groups they are divided into blocks groups are divided into blocks of elements there are four blocks s block elements p block elements d block elements and uh, f block elements if you go for s block elements s block is again made up of two groups that is 1a and 2a 1a alkali metals 1a alkali metals and 2a alkaline earth metals if you go for p block if you go for p block 
here this p block is made up of again that is third a group third a fourth a fifth a fifth a sixth a and seven a seven a and one more the last one is that is eighth a group if you go for third a it is called boron family boron family fourth a carbon family fifth a nitrogen family sixth a oxygen family and seventh a halogens halogens family and eighth a zero group or noble gases noble gases so based on this classification if you go for similarly if you go for d block if you go for d block if you go for d block and f block d block elements are also called transition elements and uh, f block elements are also called inner transition elements all the elements which belong to s block all the elements which belong to s block are called s block elements because the differentiating electron for example for example if you go for the 1a group and 2a group alkyl metals and alkyl not metals if you pick up the element then you will come to know why that 1a group element and 2a group elements belong to the s block same thing applies for p d and f block 